So can we just slow down? The only thing. Welcome back to my channel, guys. You know what time it is, right? I told you guys in one of my previous videos. When you see the yellow background for now, that means I'm about to do my makeup. And you guys say you want the makeup tutorial. That's what you say. So I'm just saying. Anyways, today I'm really going to get glam. Um, we're gonna take two pictures. I'm gonna get glam for take two pictures and stuff. Yeah. I'm really loving this wig because it looks like scalp. Okay. Okay. The video is it live already? If it is already live, then it will be linked down below. I, it's actually a glue install. I didn't use got to be for this install, so I'm loving that. But anyways, so yeah, today I want to do something colorful, and I have some new products here that I want to try out. I got new powders, you know, new liner, new palettes. Yeah, so. I'm excited to go ahead and just dive into these. Um, sorry for the background noise. It's hot. Well, it's not hot hot today, to be honest. It, ha it has not been that hot since recent times here in Jamaica because it's been a lot of rain and I've been loving it. I'm grateful. God works, is it? The liner I'm using is this Wet n Wild Cool Liner. And this is like a dark brown. Does it state it? Yeah, this is Simma Brown. That's the name of this. That's the shade I'm using. So, so I'm just gonna fill in my brows. you know for the more dramatic I'm sorry I, I apologize I know sometimes the lighting can be a little weird like I'm not sure why that happens so I'm still figuring that out sometimes it gets a little dim and then it comes back up bright you know I'm still trying to figure that oh why that's happening I, I use the, S, the FM flawless concealers to clean up my brows from Il Maquillage don't forget to shop Il Maquillage from my links I put my link where you can go ahead and shop all the products you've seen me use from El Maquillage down below so yeah go ahead support your girl so I'm gonna use number seven on my lid and blend it out one I'm not sure this one gives me like sultry vibes in terms of the shades that are in there and this one I, I thought this one would be more sultry because the whole look of the palette looks darker but this has some more colors I'm going to be combining the two palettes today to achieve whatever look it is that I'm going for so initially though I feel like I really wanted to do like a blue, blue transition but I'm not seeing any blue. So, okay, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and use Bahamas from Rivera in my crease. This. Ooh. 
this is nice and it's been a long time since I've gotten a Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I didn't want to do the like regular, you know, like brown transition or so. And then that would just kind of throw me off with my vision for this look. Because my outfit that I'm going to put on is pretty colorful. And this hairstyle just give me that vibe. By the way, if you're wondering, I'm using my Il Maquillage Dual Fiber Blending Brush to apply this shade. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut my crease and do like the shimmery shades. So can we just slow Take the shade of Leo, this blue here. Oh my god, one of the shades just fell out. Litty, it just fell out. I just bought this, and this shadow is like this Anastasia. Ooh, this is pigmented, and to swipe it, like when I swipe it, it shows up even more than just tapping because this is a shimmer so when you swipe it shows up more rocking around the clock now all we need is right here in front of us in front of us now i want to go back into rivera and i i feel like i want to use mediterranean and that's this shade here it's another shimmer notice I didn't bring it all the way down on the lid I feel like I want to go in with another shade I feel like I'm gonna go with wasted does this shade here does have shimmer as well portion here BK is the name it's just a regular um, matte shade I've done a wing liner a regular dark wing liner like a while I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline eye studio blackest black gel I know just say this name reminds me of my much older makeup tutorials <laughs> like if you've been watching me for a while I use this eyeliner a lot this is a brand new one of course but like I remember using this brand all the time I 
walking around the clock Now all we need is right here in front of us In front of us So can we just stop? I'm feeling a little spontaneous So I'm gonna put a little bit of this um, glitter pigment um, in my inner corner this is crystal, that's the shade. Okay, so this is the eyelash I'm gonna be using for today's look. I actually got this from my hair package. As you can see, it says Sealy here. So, I need some mink eyelashes. face routine for this as in just concealer and powder that's it yeah I'm gonna be taking my FM flawless to do this and just blend that out this is in the shade number seven uh, yeah I don't feel like putting on any primer today but of course if you're going to be wearing your makeup for a long period like primer Primer is essential, okay? So can we just slow foundation it's my regular regular stuff that I usually do but anyways I'm moving on to the face um the face powder portion so you guys know I'm so hooked to using my Milani first powder right but I said let me break away from that for a bit and if you follow me on my blog channel you see that I got this product this is from cover fix I've been trying to get I, I wanted to try this for um powder for a long time I just didn't get around to getting it so I finally went ahead and get, got a cover fix press powder and this is in the shade deep remember I bought this online not in person so this looks pretty light for it to be deep how how I don't know I used it once I tried it so th this is how it looks once applied it's not that bad but I feel like it's still a bit like I'm sorry for the light kind of changing up a little bit guys I see that I don't know what's up with that but the like texture consistency is really nice it doesn't look bad bad but like I'm gonna go in and warm my face up even more because I just like I need to but yeah guys this is just a press powder okay it's not a powder foundation because there's been times in the past you're like ah I, I bet it's just a, a powder foundation no so I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia I bought this from Anastasia this is a powder bronzer so I'm gonna warm my face up with this okay and this is in the shade mahogany I got this in the shade mahogany so this is how this looks now this looks deep this looks dark very pigmented I'm gonna just take this down the hollows of my cheeks and I'm not like making a precise line like I usually would like for my um, contour but 
it still helps to give the face some definition but it's just not like harsh if you notice I'm using like this fluffy like powder brush so so you see how nicely I balance out the face so I want to do like dark liner on the bottom portion of my eyes today so I'm going to take my Il Maquillage Rico Nasty um, liner and this is in the shade Lambo this is a black That's the darkness that I wanted. It's cute. That's real cute. Now it's time to glow. I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite. I've always been using this. this is the only thing I think I haven't really changed. This are my concealers. This is my gold sun highlighter dust from Il Maquillage. And ooh, I've been trying to get more Ben I Final C for the longest. It was so hard, and I got the smaller bottle. They didn't have a bigger bottle. Cause I was using another spray and it just wasn't it just like let me tell you you see what I use but banana banana final I don't know what it is it's, it's a matte makeup sealer you see if you're going to have on your makeup for a very prolonged period it just it's just the make it's just the the, the, the makeup spray and I know I said I was, I'm not going to be having on this makeup for a long time but I always love to spray my face before I apply my highlighter and I just, I'm just so excited to finally get back my Ben I Final Seal. I, I bought more than one because honey, this is the truth. It's really, really good. It's a really, really good um, makeup spray. So I know and I've been through quite a number of different brands. So yeah, <laughs> must talk at that one here. It is minty, so don't like have your mouth or your eyes open. And then while your skin, your skin is still a little like damp from it, just go in with the highlighter dust. So can we just slow? get a beautiful glow? have a little stiffness but of course when you start to move it around and stuff it feels back normal after a while that's how you know that it's really like doing its job like it's really sealing the makeup in like you feel so secure putting on your makeup to go out guys you see this wig how scalp like that looks like what I'm just applying some of the glue, whatever is left on the brush, over the arches, uh, my brows, something very subtle. And oh, all I'm going to be applying to my lips is some clay. Should I do clear gloss or should I do dark, dark lips? I pretty much just went ahead and did glossy lips. Keep it simple, you know, the hair is a lot, the eyes are colorful, and once again, excuse the noises in my background, please, 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 please. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you're what you think down below. Also your other like video suggestions and stuff It really helps out a lot. I'm highly appreciative of your suggestions. Okay, I really am um, But yeah, that's pretty much it and um, I'm going to be sure to list all the products I used Down below in the description box. So if you guys are interested in checking that out You can go ahead and do so also check out my maquillage links if you want any other products you see that I use from Il Maquillage, the link will be down below for you guys to check out. Okay, so yeah, and I'll see you guys in my next video. So until then, one big up on the self. Bye.